hello and welcome to the Sunday School Classroom. Today we're going to be reading a story from the Bible. The Bible is God's book. The Bible is true and it's for you. Today we're going to be reading in the book of Acts in the Bible. In the book of Acts in chapter 16, it tells us about two men. Their names were Paul and Silas. They went all around telling people about Jesus. Well, this made some people mad. They wanted Paul and Silas arrested. So soldiers came and arrested Paul and Silas and put them in chains and put them into the jail. Let's read and see what happens next. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were loosed. So here Paul and Silas were singing about Jesus in the jail. Then an earthquake came and it shook the ground and it broke open the doors to the jail and it caused their chains to break apart. Paul and Silas were free. They could have ran out the door. But the Bible tells us that they didn't. They stayed. Well, the jailer was terrified. He knew what would happen if he allowed the prisoners to escape. But he saw the open door. He was sure that they had made a run for it. But the Bible tells us that they hadn't, that they stayed. They knew that the jailer was going to get into big trouble. Well, when the jailer saw that they were still there, he fell down and said, oh, Please tell me about this Jesus that you've been talking about and singing about. I want to know more about him. And so Paul and Silas told him about Jesus. And he believed. He believed that Jesus is God's son, that he came to save us from our sins. Listen to what happens next. And he, the jailer, took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. And immediately he and all his family were baptized. Now, when he had brought them into his house, he set food before them. And he rejoiced, having believed in God with all his household. So the jailer took them home and washed off the stripes. And he helped them to feel better and have some food. And they told his whole household about Jesus, God's son, who came to save us from our sins. And they and they believed too. The jailer and all his household believed. Now, why do you think that the jailer was ready to listen to what Paul and Silas said? Well, it's because the Bible says that when we don't have love, what we try to say to people about Jesus sounds more like this. Just sounds like clanging cymbals without love. But the jailer, I think, could see that Paul and Silas were showing love by not making a run for it. They knew that he would be in big trouble. They stayed and he was ready to listen to what they had to say about Jesus. So make sure we're showing love to other people and telling them about Jesus too. For art today, we're going to make a paper chain. So all you have to do is just make a circle and then put another circle around that circle. Use some glue or tape and just continue adding more circles so that you have a paper chain. Paul and Silas were in chains in the prison. God caused an earthquake to come. The doors and the chains were broken. Paul and Silas stayed because they wanted the jailer to know more about Jesus. Here's the paper chain that I made to remind me about the story of Paul and Silas in the jail and the way that they showed love. The Bible tells us that if we do not have love, we sound like a clanging cymbal or gong, a noisy gong or clanging cymbal. But if we show people love, then I think they'll be ready to listen to us. Love is patient and kind, and it doesn't rejoice in wrongdoing. It rejoices in the truth. Love believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. Well, I hope that you had some fun today in the Sunday School classroom, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.